come here as a doctor and a paediatrician, a children's specialist, to talk about the medical effects of Fukushima accident that has ever occurred in human history. It, it was very severe to have three nuclear meltdowns, which has never occurred before. An enormous amount of radiation was released, and luckily, for the first few days, the wind was blowing from east to west, and it blew across the Pacific Ocean. But then the wind changed and blew northwest across Japan, and in fact, radiation was blown to the south. As you know, the Japanese government was assessing the radiation with a system called Speedy, and they knew where the radiation was going, but they didn't inform the people because they didn't want to create panic. So the people fled into the path of the maximum radiation. I have followed the Chernobyl accident very closely, but the Russians were much more proactive in removing people than the Japanese government has been in looking after its people. What the Japanese politicians and TEPCO seem not to understand is that children are 10 to 20 times more sensitive to the effects of radiation than adults. Little girls are twice as sensitive to getting cancer from radiation than little boys. And fetuses are thousands of times more sensitive to being affected by radiation than adults. Two million people live in the Fukushima prefecture and one, uh, no, 250,000 people live in Fukushima city, which is quite radioactive. I'm absolutely amazed that the Japanese government allows children to live in highly radioactive areas when the Russian government, in fact, evacuated children from similarly contaminated areas. I'm very aware that the Japanese government is strongly influenced and indeed in some cases controlled by TEPCO and the nuclear industry. I'm also aware that the politicians are medically and scientifically illiterate and don't really understand the problem in depth. To allow children and, and pregnant women and women of childbearing age to remain in Fukushima Prefecture and Fukushima City and in areas of very high radiation is medically criminal. Many of these children will develop cancer during their lifespan, but it takes a long time to incubate cancer, five to 70 years, as we learn from the Hiroshima and Nagasaki data. To indicate what is happening, um, authorities have examined 80,000 people, most, mostly children, under the age of 18 in the Fukushima prefecture. They have done ultrasound examinations of the children's thyroid glands and found that 40% have thyroid abnormalities, which is incredibly rare in paediatrics. Some of these children almost certainly are bound to develop cancer of the thyroid, and indeed one 12-year-old boy has already been diagnosed with it, and a girl aged about 16 may already have developed cancer. They're testing her now. It took five years for the children around Chernobyl to start developing cancer, but these children are showing symptoms and signs that indicate that they may well develop cancer in the future, indicating that they got a really high dose of radiation, higher than at Chernobyl. It seems to me as a doctor that the Japanese government is much more interested in protecting TEPCO than it is in protecting the Japanese people. It is imperative that the children living in high radiation areas, women of childbearing age, and pregnant women be evacuated and that their costs be covered, that, they, that, that their costs for moving and living in a new house be covered by the federal government. Indeed, the federal government has bailed out TEPCO rather than looking after these very, very vulnerable people. Radioactive elements concentrate in food, mushrooms, spinach, 
rice, tea and fish. You can't taste radiation in food, nor can you smell it, nor can you see it. And people are eating radioactive food from Fukushima and there are no regulations about radioactive food being consumed in Japan. If you think eat food or fish containing cesium-137, years later you may well develop a brain cancer, a muscle cancer, cancer of the ovary or testicle or other organs. Children in school and kindergarten, little children, are being fed radioactive food in Fukushima Prefecture. This is medically immoral. All the food grown in Fukushima and other areas should be tested weekly for radioactive contamination and not sold to the public and not be eaten. The fish from the Pacific uh, are showing high levels of radiation because huge quantities of radioactive elements were discharged into the Pacific Ocean, greater than has ever happened in the history of human beings. I have lectured now to 400 people in a general lecture. People are desperate to know what to do and it's the media's responsibility to teach them facts about what is happening to this country because of Fukushima and I don't see that happening in general. The accident at Fukushima is not over. They say it will take 40 years to clean it up but the truth is scientifically they will never clean it up. It's impossible. Cesium-137 lasts for 300 years, which means the food and the areas contaminated in Fukushima and other places will remain contaminated. The food will be contaminated. The people will be contaminated, ongoing for 300 years or longer. I don't think the government has any idea of the longevity of this disaster. I predict we'll see an epidemic of leukemia and cancer and congenital malformations in this exposed population over the next 70 years or longer. And I think the nuclear industry understands this and the medical community in Fukushima who are building a huge new hospital to treat cancer victims. There is no record being kept publicly of what is happening to those poor workers who are struggling to control the reactors uh, going into very high radiation areas. We don't know how sick they are. We don't know what radiation doses they've received. That all should be public information and it's up to the media to find that out. The most important thing you need to do is to inform the people of Japan that if an earthquake greater than seven occurs near Fukushima, building four will collapse, the cooling pool will fall to the ground burning, releasing 10 times more radiation than at Chernobyl. That will be the end of much of Japan, and I don't think you really understand the danger under which you are living. Politicians are already saying if Building 4 collapses, Tokyo will have to be evacuated. I don't know where 30 million people will go. The Japanese government and TEPCO have not allowed foreign companies, uh, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission from America, and specialists to come and help uh, reinforce Building 4. And it's going to take them alone two years to fix it, to get a big crane on top to move the spent fuel rods. Anything could happen in two years. Why have they not reached out to the international community? And the last thing to say is that radioactive debris from around Fukushima is being taken to other areas of Japan and incinerated, thus spreading radiation in other areas of Japan. That's criminal.